seven amazing facts about twin flames. Why you're not just a pair, you're already one. Sharing dreams, stepping out of the wheel of karma and more. Did you know that in the later stages of twin flame union, new shared chakras are unlocked? Today, because so much of the content on twin flames focus on the hardship and the negativity of the connection, I thought it's time to flip the coin on it and remind ourselves of the gift of being a twin flame. Because not only can it be a wonderful reminder to shift our perspective, but did you know that focusing on the positives actually means our energy shifts to allow more of it in? That's how energy works. What we focus on, we get more of. So allow this video to help you refocus on the positive, amazing, miraculous aspects of the twin flame connection. This in itself will align you with more of the good stuff. And after you're done watching, I would love to hear from you in the comments section below about your peak experiences with your twin. What have been the most inspiring, amazing, mysterious experiences you've had together? So often we're discouraged by quote-unquote regular people when it comes to the experiences that we have with our twin. So let's show each other support and that miracles really do happen on this journey. So here are seven amazing facts about the twin flame connection. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more inspiration, insights and positive advice about the twin flame connection. One, the heart knows its true match. Twin flame recognition, love at first sight. When twins meet, there are butterflies, a strange feeling in the pit of your being that this is something you've never experienced before. A strange magnetic pull between you and your twin, maybe even physical heart palpitations. The surreal feeling that this is something completely out of the ordinary. When twin souls meet and interact, our souls click in and our whole systems react to finding the quote-unquote missing part of our energy. For most twins, there's nothing else like that feeling of home we get when we meet each other. Often, twins live their lives feeling a bit subdued emotionally, like there's something missing on a deep level that they might not be able to put their finger on. And when you meet your twin, this feeling is completely replaced by a sense of wholeness. There's nothing quite like it, to feel the unconditional love of coming home to your mirror soul. Most people on Earth live their whole lives without ever feeling that unconditional love of their heart connecting with their mirror heart. As a twin flame, you get to experience this not just once, but hopefully to journey together towards this ultimately being your way of life, to get to live that love from the inside out. And if you're not quite there yet, make sure you go to twinflames1111.com and download my free help kit for twin flames. Number two, all the universe conspires to bring twin flames together. Synchronicities and signs. Most twins experience a rush and realization when they first begin to notice number sequences like 1111, 777, 333 pop up wherever they go. This often happens when the journey is beginning. A feeling that something not of this world or out of the ordinary is trying to communicate with you. The feeling that you're being guided. Well, the twin flame journey is full of significant symbols, messages, and subtle indications that physical reality is only a small part of existence. The thrill of experiencing this for the first time, often after an early life of feeling like there's nothing out there, is incredible. For many twin flames, this is the first ever feeling of there being a deeper meaning to existence, and this can be a huge rush. Most people on Earth live their lives feeling that physical reality of everyday chores, bills, work, family, etc. is all there is. But twin flames get to live the adventure of this world and beyond. To live with the excitement of an unfolding journey into greater meaning and mystery. 3. Twin flames are never truly apart. Dream journeys, astral projection. Nearly all twin flames share significant experiences together in the form of dreams and journeys and sleep. Many twins actually dream the same dream, where both experience it the same way. These dream experiences can be wonderful connections of emotions, physical love and joy, 
where the hassles of daily physical worlds take a back seat and love become the focus once more. These dream experiences can be wonderful connections with emotions, physical love and joy, where the hassles of daily life take a back seat and love becomes the focus once more. Often, twins wake up from these dreams with a feeling of being completely fulfilled and nourished by each other's love. And many twins' first encounter actually occurs in dreams, where their energies activate each other back to recognition through unconditional love heart to heart. This often happens either if twin flames haven't met physically yet, or they've encountered each other remotely like through the internet. Some twins carry on physical love relationships on the dream place and in astral journeys for years, some without fully realizing or remembering it in the waking world. When we go to sleep at night, the waking ego consciousness relaxes its control and the twin flame's souls can come together peacefully in love, no matter what's going on in the outside world. To remember more of these dreams and actively engage in lucid dreaming, have a look at energy clearing, because when we remove congestion and other people's energies, we become more attuned to our inner dreamscape and intuitive abilities. Dreams and astral experiences are a common way for the twins' higher selves and guides to give indications, signs and information about the ongoing journey, blocks that need to be resolved, to trigger memories and help your path move forward. 4. A secret line of communication, twin flame telepathy. There's nothing quite like the kick of realizing for the first time that you are quote unquote talking to someone else in your mind or sharing information with another in a conscious way. Often for twin flames, this begins as small phrases popping up here and there in your mind. Strange words or images or songs you suddenly realize are floating around in your mind and didn't originate from you. As time goes on, many twins open their telepathic communication so fully that they can converse or send messages even when they're physically apart. And, excitingly, telepathy has now been scientifically proven to exist. If you want to know more about that, Google telepathy and science, and you'll find more information about that. Telepathy of words, images, emotion, and meaning is one of the hallmarks of the true twin flame connection. Because twins are two aspects of the same original consciousness, they are always tuned into each other's channel. However, some twins are so congested with energy and other attachments that their channel isn't open. And if this is you, please don't worry, because it can be remedied with energy clearing methods. The clearer our channel, the more communication is able to come through. So go to TwinFlames1111.com to get free energy healing downloads and guided meditations for Twin Flames. You could actually be so mentally busy that you haven't noticed the telepathic communication going on. So make sure you take a few minutes to quiet your mind every day to open up the space to receive. 5. Connection to Eternity Soul Awakening Realizing that existence is more than life on Earth One of the most wonderful aspects of the twin journey, although challenging at times, is awakening from the sleep of earthly life. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. The majority of humanity live in a tightly boxed off space of repeating the same actions, thoughts and experiences over and over. Most people live on the wheel of karma, stuck in repeated experiences and emotions and patterns where free will is more an expression than a reality. Twin flame awakening and ascension can be challenging to be removed emotionally and intellectually from everything you've ever known but it also opens you up to your divinity. It opens up your whole experience of existence. And it's why it's done gradually, peeling back layer by layer of what you've known so that we can adjust as we go along and awaken to our deeper soul selves. Common to Twin Flame Awakening always is that our eyes are open to a larger reality. On the Twin Flame journey, we learn that we are not just human beings, but we are souls experiencing physical life. We are not just a small ego self we've been shown as we grew up, but we are unlimited consciousness that does not conform to titles, gender, age, resonance, or any other earthly category. We are the universe expressing itself. Twin flames are a part of a small but growing group of fortunate human beings who get to awaken while alive on Earth. 
to get to experience larger existence spiritually while here in physical reality. This is such a rare thing. To open up more to this, you'll benefit from clearing any ancestral reality grids you've inherited and been anchored into, any of those old karmic programmings, and to open up into the higher consciousness grids of what we call 5D, where unconditional love and unity exist. We do this and much more in my channeled Higher Dimensional Anchoring and Awakening session. You can read more at twinflames1111.com forward slash blog about that. 6. Unity is already here, realizing you're one soul in two bodies. Often there's a subtle undercurrent in Twin Flames' lives before meeting each other. That on some deeper level, they're always on the lookout for someone they're not quite sure who is, to be searching for someone who is like you. In some words, to be seeking your missing heart in others as you journey through life until you finally find that one person. And when twin flames meet and events and synchronicities increase to the degree that many begin questioning whether they're going crazy or maybe making things up, the subtle soul reality tells us something completely different. This initial awakening period is a challenging push and pull between the intuitive knowing and the logical mind. And in this period of awakening, we begin to realize more and more that we're not just meeting and interacting with a person who's like us, we are actually interacting with ourselves in some deep way. And this is the crux of the difficulty and the beauty of the twin soul connection. That we're not just pairs or couples, but that we are already one. And once we begin to look for this oneness, everything begins to shift. Throughout the twin flame journey, our souls are constantly trying to show us this. And most twins share significant similarities and early life experiences with each other mannerisms, preferences, feeling tendencies, family structures, interests, passions, values. These are not just signs that you found a good fit, but that you are meeting yourself mirrored. It can be an amazing and mind-blowing experience to realize this. But for many twins, this aspect of the journey can also be understandably challenging, as it goes against everything we've ever experienced and been told in life. If you are at this stage of finding this process difficult or kind of too much, stretching you beyond your boundaries and stirring up turmoil in you, please try the free help kit for Twin Flames at twinflames1111.com because when you clear your energy and fuel a new light, you'll feel much more calm, settled and whole in yourself again. 7. Soul Merge Across Space Twin Flame Reunion Alchemy of Souls when twin flames reunite in the so-called alchemical union or hieroskamos, their whole energetic systems are brought online with each other. For myself and my twin soul, this happened bit by bit, first in a ceremony where our chakras are connected to each other with cords, then in increased reconnections of more and more of our systems, then the unification of the Akashic records of past and current lives and timelines and so forth. Gradually, more and more of our systems were integrated back together. And after we reached Union, I was asked to create the Vibrational Alignment Program to help other twins do the same as well. You can read more about this at twinflames1111.com. For some twins, Union happens on the soul planes without them being consciously aware of it. And many are too mentally busy to be open to receiving information from their higher faculties on what's happening. Meditation and clearing congestion with energy tools is a great way to know what's going on and to stay open to this kind of communication. You'll be shown signs of what's happening in some way. When twin souls are merging, we step deeper and deeper into unification. And often twins will notice things such as others' memories surfacing and an increase in sharing emotions and personality traits, mannerisms, perhaps even changes in physical elements. Unification opens up the channels between us once more, and on the soul planes we go from being separately connected to being one whole. When the time comes that the twins are reunited, this is a union of joy and love. And then the later stages of this union process, not only the seven main chakras are connected, but also the higher three chakras that extend up beyond the crown. 
and eventually new collective chakras are activated and brought online. These new unlocked higher dimensional chakras are unified from the beginning. They're the first ones in the twin systems that are actually unified and shared to start with. These are high vibratory, high dimensional chakras that enable the twin flames to function more and more as a unit, bridging the gap between the earthly self and the higher self more and more. This is ultimately how twin souls unite to bring about heaven on earth as is their mission, allowing high vibration energies to flow through their systems in a gateway to assist all of existence into higher balance, but also to bring love into their own lives, integrating their high dimensional consciousness onto the earth planes more and more, allowing for an open flow of love and light. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so glad you're here and please always remember that you're on this journey because you're infinitely capable. You yourself know on some level that you hold the key to returning to unconditional love. I hope you found this inspiring and if you like this video be sure to subscribe to the channel for more inspiration, insights and actionable advice about Twin Flames. And I would love to hear about your own amazing experiences with the positives of the Twin Flame connection. What have the most miraculous, mind-blowing moments been on your journey? Leave a comment with your positive peak experiences below. And as always, I'm sending you love and light for your continued journey. Did you know most twin flame struggles are based in energy blocks and negative karma? For a step-by-step -step high vibrational method to harmonize your journey with your twin, have a look at my free help kit for twin flames and vibrational alignment program at TwinFlames1111.com Did you know that there are 22 key signs of the true Twin Flame connection? Watch my video on that below.